everyone. Welcome to Vegas Realty Check with Trish Williams and Tiana Carroll. I am Tiana Carroll and Trish Williams has the day off today. So you will have me and we have a community spotlight this week, which is so fun, so amazing. I always love to bring the community into it. And our guest today is Andrew Devitt from Sports Social. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. So before we get into talking about what sports uh, what sports social is, I just mm -hmm. wanted to go over some real estate numbers for our uh, audience out there since we are a real estate based show, right? Cool. So um, we always talk numbers. And so our single family numbers this week are 7,798. And then we've had reductions of 1,852. If you watch the show, then mm -hmm. you know that those numbers really haven't changed in the past few weeks. They've been pretty consistent, um, less than 100 uh, homes on each side, basically. And those price reductions are coming down because our market is stabilizing. So Andrew, do you pay attention to real estate market? Mm, not at all. <laughs> not at no. all. Um, so we won't be having real estate <laughs> conversations then. And I don't really entirely know what you just said either. Um, oh, well, fair enough. Okay, so each each week we track the numbers that mm -hmm. um, are homes available on our market. Mm -hmm. And that sort of determines if we're in a seller's market, a mm -hmm. balanced market, or a buyer's market. So that way we know the ebb and flow of the business. And so if we go back in retrospect to a few months ago, then our numbers were just about 3,000 homes available on the market, meaning we don't have a lot of stock out there to sell. Now, um, once the feds raise the interest rates, which mm -hmm. they'll be doing again, I'm sure everybody's seen that in the news, right kids? So um, once they raised the interest rates, it sort of pumped the brakes on our market. And then we had some houses that were coming on. I think a lot of them were people who were trying to um, cash in before the market dropped, which mm -hmm. we depreciate about 7 8% now. Um, compared to the inflation that we had and price mm -hmm. reductions reflected that but our price reductions this week are not very different from last week mm -hmm. we're s really stabilizing at least that's what the numbers in the data are showing mm -hmm. so okay that's Got what it. that is <laughs> <laughs> Those are the numbers. <laughs> All right. So um, Andrew is a local business owner. He has such an incredible business. When I first heard about it, I was amazed. I want to get into that. But before we talk about the business, let's talk about you, sir. You mm -hmm. are a Las Vegas native, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, born and raised. Went to. I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. Went to Durango High School. Okay. Um, grew up skateboarding. Skateboard still to this day a little bit. I uh, love running, Pilates, um, you know. All right, just a healthy, active dude. I try to be. Okay, good. That's good, good, good. We like that. And um, so you have Las Vegas or LVSportsSocial.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that is the website to your business. Mm -hmm. And it is, well, you tell us. Tell us a little bit about Sports Social. Sports Social. What is it? Yeah, so Sports Social is a lot of things. Sports Social is a place for kids, teens, and adults. Uh, it's centered around sports, art, and music. Uh, it's a place for kids to find happiness and friendship in their life. It's something that we think is important and needs a little bit more time and attention given to it. Uh, and we're a place for kids to learn it. Um, we, th we think it needs to be given, you know, it needs to be taught, right? You can't just learn to, you don't just get happiness, you don't just get friendship. You need to be taught and shown ways to find that in your life. Uh, we offer like private lessons, group classes, camps, many different programs for um, those that may be struggling socially, emotionally, conversationally, behaviorally, in many different ways. Uh, we're a 22,000 square foot indoor facility with like skate park, rock climbing walls, a cafe, video game rooms, music rooms, basketball courts. Um, it's a pretty cool place. It is a very cool place. I actually took a tour of it and it is everything that you say it is. And it's sort of set up kind of like your favorite play area mixed with a Chuck E. Cheese in a mm -hmm. sense because mm -hmm. they um, they get prizes. They can buy prizes with tickets or mm -hmm. money that mm -hmm. they get. Tell me about that. Yeah, sure. So at Sports Social, the core concept is learning to be a cool friend, right? Again, learning to find friendships in your life and learning to be happy, right? 
um, we reinforce things that we think are going to promote that in our students' lives with things called cool friend tickets. So we're always encouraging our kids to try new things, to say hi to other people, to ask them questions, to um, compromise. When they do things like that, they earn cool friend tickets throughout their day, and then by the end of the day, they can use those tickets to buy something from the price counter. Okay, so this sounds like it is um, helping children with disabilities. I yeah, guess so, we didn't really cover that. Yeah, so Sports Social is a place for, for everyone, right? right? It's for anyone that's struggling you know, again, to make friends. Um, but yes, we do really serve primarily autism and special needs community. Um, and again, anyone that, that's struggling to find those things in their life. Uh, we're also behaviorally based. We're, we're based in a therapy model that's called applied behavior analysis. And so everyone that works at Sports Social uh, is what's called a registered behavior technician. Um, it's an effective way for, for breaking skills down and teaching them new ones. And um, yeah. All right, and you said some of the things that you do, it's all sports, art, music, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was there, there's like a video game room and a music mm -hmm. room, a cafe, mm -hmm. uh, and then the actual gym is the rock climbing mm -hmm. and skateboarding and basketball, which was totally fun. I love basketball. <laughs> so that was cool. And um, so kids come here, do they have to, is it a schedule? Do they just pop in? How does mm -hmm. that work? How yeah. do you... So we give tours every day, right? We're giving tours to people that are interested and they come in and we show them what we do and we spend time with our son or daughter, uh, try out some new activities and then we recommend a program for them. Then they go on a short wait list. There's a pretty big demand for our services. Um, they go on a short wait list and for a specific program. Some students are coming for vocational skills. Some students are coming for a music lesson. Some are coming for a social skills group. Um, so it's a la carte based on your child's interests, skills, deficits, goals, all those things we take into consideration and find the right program for your child. Nice. Very nice. And how many families can you service? Uh, today we see about 650 students every week. Wow. Um, we're a team of about 60 people that work at Sports Social. And uh, we have a wait list, right? And so we, we take time in... Uh, recruiting the right people, training those people, and providing them with support. And so that, in turn, uh, does create a short wait time associated with getting started. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. There's a lot that goes into it, especially if you are going to be therapy-based. Mm -hmm. All right, and I like that everybody who works there is trained mm -hmm. and go through a whole program. I guess um, I saw a few different times on your website that you guys were posting job fairs and mm -hmm. that jobs are available. If somebody wanted to come and work at Sport mm -hmm. Social, it's good for them to know that you'll provide all the training. They don't already have to be certified to start, do they? No, absolutely not. No, we're looking for athletes, musicians, artists that are caring and empathetic and respectful and are example of what we're trying to teach. Right? We're trying to teach kids how to be a cool friend. We're looking to hire people that emulate that. We then take those people that may or may not have worked with kids before, may or may not have had experience with those with special needs, and we put them through a rigorous training so that they, they can learn uh, effective tools to, again, teach and change behaviors and, and eventually become certified to become a registered behavior technician. All right. That is very cool indeed. So um, how long? So you started this, I believe, in 2011, right? About, yeah. Yeah, and then it's grown, right? Because mm -hmm. I've been to your gym now, and mm -hmm. it's huge, mm -hmm. like 22,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So um, just this huge, fun, bright, colorful, accepting place to be, but it wasn't always that. How mm -hmm. did it start? Mm, uh, okay, how did it start? Well, in high school, I got a job tutoring kids with autism. Okay. And it was like, you know, second job I had. I was 16 years old. And I loved it. I loved tutoring kids and I loved, I loved the kids and I loved the families, but I didn't like what I was doing. I personally hated school and I didn't like teaching kids <laughs> school He's stuff. just kidding, kids. <laughs> School's amazing. Stay in school. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Andrew. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go um, ahead. Yeah, you know, school wasn't for me and uh, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel authentic to me to be teaching kids things that I didn't want to be doing. And the reality is that for kids with autism, their lives because are different than a typical kid, right? Because it's recommended that they get a significant amount of therapy every week. And so what happens is they go to school like every other kid, and then they get home from school, and they do two, three, four hours of therapy when they get home. Oh, that's and intense. It's, it's intense. It's more than a grown adult is doing, right, right. in terms of responsibility. 
And so they don't get an opportunity to be a kid. Anyways, in all that, fast forward, um, I started teaching kids that I worked with how to like skateboard, how to ride a bike, how to swim, because those were things that I loved to do, right? I was a skater. Um, and myself, the kids, the parents saw like, wow, this is really cool. Like that they can do these things just like any other kid and they can have an experience just like any other kid. And it matters, I guess, right? It really matters. Um, I think that was the thing. Yeah. Sometimes you can discount like fun and recreation and play. But, you know, I feel like when when I first saw it, I was like, oh, wow, this is just as important as him learning to read or write, you know, him learning to ride a bike or him going to play at a park. Um, so that's how it started. Um, and uh, I taught one kid, then two kids, then three kids, then 20, then 30. I did it at the local skate parks for two years, um, just stacking lessons back to back. One kid, two o'clock, another kid, three o'clock. Um, yeah, I saved my money, encouragement from friends and family and stuff like that, and uh, rented a warehouse and built some ramps. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you in there just building ramps, skill sog. Okay, yeah. so um, is this this is your third gym? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you've grown mm -hmm. over time. Yeah. All right, and. Um, when you also do um, camps and special events mm -hmm. at Sports Social, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Do you have anything coming up? Um, we have camp whenever school is out, right? So any no school day, whatever the next one is. I'm sure there's like one on Nevada Day, but there may be one on some other days too. Um, and we don't have any other events at the moment scheduled, um, but camp, yeah, whenever school is out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's awesome. And then um, let's talk a little bit about the kids, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm with you. I think mm -hmm. that happiness definitely needs to be taught and is a chosen state of mind. Mm -hmm. And just having that acceptance, appreciation, gratitude, those mm -hmm. are all things that are um, important. And being a good friend, mm -hmm. so important, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Learning to be able to give of yourself and mm -hmm. help others. So, you have all of these kids. I'm mm -hmm. sure it gets crazy, wild, and rambunctious, but mm -hmm. they have to love it, right? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they? I mm -hmm. love it. <laughs> For sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that it's, I remind our, our team, our staff, that like for, for them, it's just an hour session, right? But for our students that come, it's like the highlight of their week. It's like so many things that they don't have in their life, right? Where, Everyone is accepting and loving towards them. Everyone is encouraging them and helping build their confidence. Um, there's bounce houses and video games and, you know, um, so it's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to just be there when all of the screaming and smiles and... Yeah, I know. I've, I've been there. I felt the energy. It's kind of amazing. And then um, I've also been to the cafe, mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting that you, some of the kids are working in the cafe. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a vocational program, right? Um, okay. Working is an important part of life, and, and the reality is that a lot of people struggle with it, right? Our students tend to struggle with mainly socially um, within a workplace, as many people do. And so we developed a vocational program where students can uh, learn skills in the classroom, and then more importantly, like everything we do, apply it and use it in a real fun, functional way. And so we built a cafe where students can practice using a cash register, not practice, actually use a cash register, um, follow steps to make drinks, and then I'll gain all the interpersonal and social skills that go with working. It's a nine-month program, and by the end of it, we help them get a job in the community, whether that be at a cafe or with some students at like Meow Wolf and other cool places um, in town that, um, yeah. That is cool. I didn't know that you helped them get jobs afterwards. Yeah. That is very cool. Yeah. This is such a cool thing, Andrew. You're so quiet and humble over here, and it's just amazing what you're doing. It's such a great resource for the um, Valley. You are in the um, southwest part of town, right? Yep, southwest, yeah. Yep. So, and can people just pop in and come to the cafe and support, yeah, so absolutely. support social? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the hours are like a little specific because it's when students are Available. working. And so, yeah, just check out our Instagram or website. It shows you the hours of when we're open. All right, cool. And then... Um, Am I missing anything? Hmm. 
Don't say it. You need to tell me. I'm missing stuff. We still have 15 minutes, Andrew. <laughs> Just kidding. You tell me. Ask me the questions. Yeah, oh. I'm asking. Yeah, no. So the music program mm -hmm. um, that you have, I went in there and I saw a variety of instruments. Mm -hmm. And I know that... Um, do people get to choose what they play? Do they come? You said you had music lessons, and yeah. I've seen it happen. They yeah. just get to like, hey, I want to learn drums or guitar mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, right. So music lessons, just like similar to any other music lesson that you would receive, right? But again, it's different in that it's one, it's taught by our instructors that are going to focus and target social communication, behavioral skills while working on that music skill. Um, but yeah, we teach drums, piano, guitar, bass, and voice. Um, it can be one of those things or it can be a couple of those instruments um, but like everything we do it's a set weekly lesson times so they come like every and do you guys have like uh, little recitals or performances that you guys we, periodically do we, that we, they prepare for we need to put one on the books but um uh, we recently had a student come out in the in our big gym and, and play in front of the whole uh, all the students and instructors, and he did amazing. That's cool. awesome. Yeah. I bet he just felt so good afterwards. He was so excited. Yeah, yeah. I love that um, one of the things that you focus on is building that self-confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, it was always so important to me with my family to make sure that I built up their confidence mm -hmm. and made sure that they felt secure and accepted the way you're doing at Sports Social. And um, I think it's so great that you're – doing it not only, I mean, for the entire community, but mm -hmm. for these families that are seeking this help and bringing that highlight to their week. For sure. Yay, you. <laughs> you get a gold star. All right. So um, we talked about the music program. Mm -hmm. There's also an art program. Mm -hmm. um, what are the mediums that you guys are using? So we do drawing, painting, and sculpting lessons. Sculpting. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. And what happens to all that art? Do they take it home? Does it go on display? Do you auction it off? Mm, so right now there's some students that are participating in a pretty cool uh, fundraiser and art show. It's called Art for Autism. And some of our students are submitting their pieces as part of that. Um, while others, yeah, they'll take their pieces home at the end of it and um, build it over time, their yeah. collection of pieces. Yeah, that Art for Autism, that's, um, I think, October 7th, the first Friday yep. downtown. Mm -hmm, so. Yeah, and it's ben benefiting families for effective autism treatment and half of the proceeds go to that nonprofit and the other half goes to the person that made the art. Okay. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. So the yeah. kids are making some money. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be an addiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we start getting paid for something like, Oh, that's nice. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> So how I got into real estate, my friend. <laughs> Started out as a hobby. No, just kidding. Um, so uh, we talked art. We talked music. Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's a skate ramp and mm -hmm. um, basketball court, mm -hmm. rock climbing wall. There was some other stuff in the gym too, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I saw like games and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we um, always been a skate park right from the very beginning. Yeah, that's where your uh, yeah, that's uh, where your heart lies. You a said key part of who we are. Um, and then over time, we've added things, you know, and uh, the rock climbing is new. We actually, when COVID happened, there was like a out of business trampoline park and we purchased everything inside of it. And we undid the rock climbing wall and rolled it over. It was like a football field away from our building and we rolled it um, into <laughs> our place. <laughs> And hired That's to the kind of stuff that you saw during COVID, just random things happening. People mm -hmm. weren't out in the world. There was probably nobody on the road. Mm -hmm. Like you had a dolly, just pushed it down. And we put some caster wheels on the rock wall and, and rolled it over. Just rolled it over. <laughs> of course, you do what you got to do, right? You yeah. do what you got to do. <laughs> and then you and your team mm -hmm. built the gym. Yeah, yeah. So because we, we decided to move into this big, huge, beautiful place one month before COVID hit and then, you know, we were hit in a difficult place. And so what we decided to do is to hire everyone back on during that time when everyone was shut down and uh, everyone painted, put up the fences, built the ramps, everything you see we made. Uh, so everybody's pretty proud of. Yeah, of it, I, I think they would be proud of that. And yeah. that builds such great culture, such mm -hmm. great community. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like your employees then become like friends and family. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, I mean, our culture and our the environment at Sports Social is important to me and important to uh, 
us as a whole, for sure. And moments like that, um, for sure, may make a difference. Yeah, if I could be a fly on the wall during the build of that gym, I bet there was a lot of laughing going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cool. Um, is there anything else that happens at Sport Social that is interesting that maybe, I mean, I know that we talked about camps and any mm -hmm. kind of special events. Mm -hmm. um, you've had, like, I've seen that you've had other events where you have, like, skate parks in the parking lot. And it was mm -hmm. a community thing because you really do try and involve the community mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. everybody to be a part of it, right? Mm -hmm. Totally, yeah. Um, you know, before COVID, we were always doing events and as a as a place for other organizations to to host like we, we often have and still do it to some amount um, events for other organizations at sport social on the way for other um, groups of this community in las vegas to experience sport social that normally wouldn't get a chance and so um we don't have anything right now in the books like that but but again, those are things that we've done before and, and have been really cool. Yeah, so if people are interested, they can go to the website mm -hmm. and check it all out, see your calendar of events mm -hmm. and um, take the tour, which is cool. I think that everybody should take the tour just to see what um, the facility is like and what they offer because it really is impressive whether you're an artist or a musician wanting to come in for mm -hmm. um, employment or your family in need mm -hmm. or you just have a bunch of kids who want to go and have some fun mm -hmm. they got to go go on the website schedule some time take the tour yeah for sure yeah i think that um it's hard to imagine it one by just listening or two even seeing video you have to experience it to really see what it's like you know yeah, uh, my heart was uh, sort of in love once I passed the video game room mm -hmm. and I saw like Super Mario Brothers. I'm <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that's so nostalgic. <laughs> Sign me up. It was so cute. It had like clouds, mm -hmm. like fluffy clouds. It wasn't painted on the ceiling. They mm -hmm. were 3D and fluffy magical clouds and then painted um, with Super Mario Brothers all around. Mm -hmm. And you kids go in there and play video games. And yeah. They were laughing. I was there um, during COVID, so they all had their masks on. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't see their smiles, but I could see their eyes, the you know, the squinting. smile eyes <laughs> squinting and stuff. And I was like, they are loving this. I would have loved that. I almost wanted to stay and play video games myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourself hard to leave work? Like you're sticking around, you're skateboarding, you're biking. Does it feel like a job? <laughs> you know, it, sports social is a, is a mix between it's, some, it's really difficult and really challenging and then it's really fun right um it's right one of our values is to push for progress and and that's that's something that you'll see happening every day everywhere right we're pushing kids that are struggling in many ways to go beyond what they're able to do right now and then at the other moment like two seconds later you'll see another one of our values which is go find yourself right go and, find yourself and, <laughs> Because it's a choice, right? Fun is a choice, and you have to be reminded to to make it fun and to bring fun into what you're doing, not just in the easy moments when you're in a bounce house, but when you're walking down the hallway or when you're with a kid that's having a hard day. Um, and so that's our job is to balance fun and progress, right? And I think we do it pretty well. And yes, um, you'll see we shut down at like 8 o'clock, but people are there till 10, 11, midnight, um, skateboarding, playing music, playing video games. By people, you mean employees, employees not families, yeah, right? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Employees. So that um, goes back to that family-like culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, that's um, cool. Yeah. That does not happen in a real estate office. <laughs> <laughs> real estate office by 3 p.m. is crickets. Nobody's around. <laughs> nobody's doing it. They're like, we're done. But they start early. They make their calls. They meet with their clients. And then they're out of there. Yeah. Not me. I work all the time. <laughs> all the time, which is okay. I actually love my job. So that's it. Speaking of which, would you like to buy a house? <laughs> <laughs> now that you have your, you based your entire life around the business. If you're mm -hmm. ever looking to buy a house, let mm -hmm. me know. I will hook okay. you up. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, um, Andrew, if people wanted to get a hold mm -hmm. of you, how do they get a hold of you? Like directly? Oh, no. Well, I know that because you're the small business, I mean, uh -huh. the local business, yeah. they would contact the business. How does okay. it get a hold of yeah, your yeah. business? For sure, for sure. So my emails, sure. Uh, my emails. But you never know. There might be ladies out there who <laughs> want to get a hold of you directly, Andrew. Give okay. your number. Sure, sure. My email is andrew at lvsportsocial.com. And then, uh, yeah, hit us up on uh, website, lvsportsocial.com. You can give us a call. And that's your Instagram, too? LV Sports yeah, Social? Yeah, Instagram is LV Sports Social. Yep. 
Okay, so give them the number I cut you off. Uh, 702-485-5515. There it is, 485-5515. All right, well, uh, I think that's great. And like I said, if you haven't been to Sports Social, it benefits so many people in the community. You should all take the time to, especially if you're in the Southwest, or you have a child who is in need of any kind of this therapeutic playtime, mm -hmm. which is so fun, um, you should definitely make a time to go out there and take a tour, see the facility in person, feel that energy, and really um, experience it. Because I heard about it, I was fascinated by it. And first off, I was fascinated by your story. Mm -hmm. Here you are lucky enough to find your purpose, your passion at such a young age, mm -hmm. and then to convey that out to the community and help so many families and to grow with the community mm -hmm. as Vegas has grown, your business has grown, your gyms are getting bigger. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. So everybody go to lvsportsocial.com and book your tour, check out the facility. Even if you just work in the area and you want to stop by and grab a coffee every day to support that is amazing. I love the idea of the friendship. I also love the tagline, go fun yourself. <laughs> so quippy, Andrew. Did you come up with that? Or you have a team? I can't take credit, no. No? Mm -mm. All right. Well, whoever did it, tell them I said thumbs up. I like it. Go fun yourself, Vegas. <laughs> in, in, in a very clean way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think we're getting ready to wrap up the show real quick. And we missed Trish Williams. You would have loved her. She's so awesome. So um, Trish, if you're out there, shout out. Hoping you're having the best vacation ever. I know it's much needed because you never, ever go on vacation. And then if you are in need of any kind of real estate information or help, you can always contact me. I'm Tiana Carroll. My number is 702-379-9948. Call, text, send a message or pigeon. I will hook you up. I will answer all questions and uh, I'll give you numbers. And then you're going to have to start subscribing to the show so you can keep track of numbers okay. now that you know what they are and right. how they work. Deal. All right, cool. Well, Vegas, thank you so much. And I guess we go out, syndicate all, all over the world. So the world, thank you for tuning in to this week's uh, version of Realty, Vegas Realty Check with Tiana Carroll and Trish Williams. And our community spotlight for the month is Sports Social. You guys have a great time and we will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.